prepared for the longest nonstop solo flight after landing at Kalailoa Airport today. KITV force Ashley Moser has more on the hundreds of supporters who welcomed the solo piloted plane with aloha. You're watching a first history. The solar impulse touches down at Kalailoa Airport, ending the longest nonstop solar flight ever. The landing meticulously calculated, crews on the ground and in the air waiting for perfect conditions for landing and for viewing for TV and online audiences worldwide. As pilot Andre Borschberg opened the plane's doors after five days in the single seat solar aircraft, a cheer went up from supporters on hand. They came from all over the world to see this in person. Very exciting moment to come here and see a solar plane coming to Hawaii. This is something very unusual, and I'm very happy to be here. Pilots Borschberg and Bertrand Picard greeted with flags from their home country, Switzerland. The aircraft's team members seeing Borschberg in person for the first time since Japan. It's almost surreal when you see the plane touch down, but you know, when you, he opens the door and he has that big smile, that little boy smile, and he's got that five day stubble, and, and, he's, and he feels so great about it. You know, it's just, you know, that's the inspiration that we get. Master navigator Nainoa Thompson does his traveling by sea on Hokulea. He greeted both pilots and says there are similarities in what they do. Feeling the hand of the pilot next to that kind of beautiful aircraft um, um, tells you that there are those that are changing the world. It strengthens us, and uh, I'll be leaving in 13 days, and uh, I'm, I'm just more committed. Because I'm, we're not the only ones out there that are taking the risk. With that risk comes the reward, something the pilots of Solar Impulse are now starting to embrace. Ashley